All right, phoenixtypewriter.com here. We're going to re reinstall this roller into the Remington, but we need to drive a brad in this little hole right here. When we were sanding this, this has a wood core and uh, it uses this, uh, <clears throat> the brad that was in there came out in the core. Might slip, uh, it's pretty tight, but we're gonna go ahead and, and run a new brad in here, just like that. So we'll just hammer it in here. Until it bottoms out, right there. And we're gonna cut it off. And just trim the piece a little bit. Make it nice and flush. That's good. Okay, that's all. Back in order. So, what we gotta do to put the roller back in here. Pretty much a reverse procedure, but we'll we'll do it. Move this stuff out of the way. Okay, remember it does have a ratchet assembly over here that can sometimes fall out of a fall out of place. This little ratchet, you know, can fall out of here, but it just goes in that groove. It's pretty uh, straightforward. If it comes out, you can you can get it back in there. It only goes in there one way, so come on. Okay, so let's just stick this in back in the way we took it out. The side first. There's a little detent roller there. Just got to get it around there. And then it in there and then it falls right into place and we just gotta stick the rod through the side with the groove goes in first and that's gonna go in that that side and we just gotta line this roller up which can be a little tricky there we go once it gets there it's just right push the shaft all the way through and then finesse this roller into the right position and send her on through. Well you gotta line that hole up so you gotta twist this a little bit. Twist it and line it. Twist and line, come on buddy. There it goes. Okay, so first thing we want to do is reassemble this, this little piece here, and that takes the little and the nut. Basically, you've got to get the nut in here, right in there. Stick this through. The nut, and there's a hole in this piece it corresponds to. And once you find that, it should slip in a little further. Come on, buddy. There it is, and then we'll just tighten this screw down. And tighten that nut up. And there is a basic adjustment to this. First of all, this little tab right here has got to be underneath the uh, 
See, the, there's a gap here. There's a little tab piece right there. So this needs to loosen up a little more and reposition itself. So let's loosen this a little and get that blow there. There we go. Now it's in there right. So now this is tight against the roller and it should just have a little bit of play. Just a little bit like that. It wants tension on that. That's critical. And once that's in position, we can just tighten this up here. It's, it's got a little bit of play. You just got to get it just right and tighten it pretty tight. Okay. So he, see there, it's got just a small gap that a, you know, a paper will fit through there. Perfect. Okay, now the next thing was put this card guide back on, which is pretty straightforward. Just got to get it behind the first set of washers. And it takes a little bit of manipulating. There we go. Alright, that's about right. And we'll just tighten this down. We're just going to semi-tighten it because we need to uh, type on it and make sure it's lined up. Okay, next thing, last thing is the knob, I think. I mean, it's got a little groove. You just line that up with the corresponding groove and it should fit in there a little bit and the uh, final final process is put the screw on the end. And get this as tight as you can there. There we go. Okay. So, we're back in business with a roller. And, uh, you know, it definitely looks better. And, uh, didn't have any trouble with grip before. It wasn't the trouble. It was, I think it was just, it was too groove. And I thought it was affecting the print. I'm not really sure. So we're going to just try it and compare it to, oh, I have a sample around here somewhere. Oh, jeez, I don't know where it's at now. It doesn't look much different. So maybe it didn't make too much of a difference. But it does look better. Yeah, that definitely just looks better visually. There's no sand marks and there's just less uh, grooving and indentations. That's nice. Actually came out good even though it's didn't affect the print a whole lot. All right, that's how you sand the platen. At least it looks better. All right, good day.